North Star Superchargers, they're great because they're cheap. They suck because they're bulky, cumbersome, and long, and plenty other reasons. But I'm going to show you today what I've done to get around that to try and make it work for my application. So let's have a look at what I've done. All right, so this is what I've come up with. It's pretty wild, but I've hacked out one of those runners there. Let's say hack. I pulled this thing apart and I threw it on the milling machine and basically just cut, cut away all that section there. I'll throw some extra footage up. Yeah, so this is what I've done. Some pretty aggressive modifications here, but um, I've removed the bypass valve housing for now because it's two separate pieces comes out a bit this far and then i'll have the throttle body come onto it um, that's what this hole here is for the bypass section of it but um yeah i came to the conclusion after um the video where i made uh, 3d printed manifolds where i sat this thing on and i mean i had this section of the blower here pretty much right on the edge of the engine bay where like the seam is for your bonnet and um it was just never gonna work so i figured that um go all out and just hack this thing up. It is what it is at this point. It either works or it doesn't. Um, so yeah, I uh, threw this thing in the CNC and we milled away this corner. I'll throw some B-roll up as I talk. But um, yeah, I did that and then basically traced this pattern here and then put it in the pan brake and folded it. And um, yeah, we just basically tigged it in. So did all that and I think it turned out pretty nice. Um, yeah, so I had been toying with the idea of um, deleting the bypass valve altogether just out of ease to have more room to swing the intake out here so I can still have it over the left side of the car, um, out of my line of view. And I'll show you some mock-ups I made. So here is the trials that I had. So I basically sketched up the flange here that goes onto the supercharger itself and I came up with this. And you wouldn't believe it, that looks symmetrical, but it's not. So um, if you end up doing something like this yourself, it's a good thing to note that, yeah, the bolt pattern on this and everything, it looks the same, but it's a few millimetres out here and there, so that was frustrating. But um, that basically would make that bolt up onto there to give us like a four-inch outlet so that we could swing around the side. I'm just going to try and see if I can make it stay there. It's probably not going to stay there. Uh, I basically was going to do something like that and then make this swing out the side and then a 45 degree bend which I've also printed but I don't have enough hands to um, make that swing out the side. I'll bolt this thing together so you can see what I meant. Yeah so like that that's what I was going to have and then throttle body right on the end of that and then I also toyed around with putting the bypass valve back in and then mounting this under there and that's probably how we're going to go about doing this to be honest so that there is the flange that basically bolts the throttle body to the bypass valve housing and then we'll end up swinging around here and then out the side so yeah pretty wild yeah and I've, I've tacked all this up to keep it all clean but this is what the inside of the supercharger looks like so essentially the supercharger is just upside down and like this is the top so it's blowing up and the intercooler is off here at the moment it's pretty cool to look at it in itself but um it blows up through here, through the coils, down around, and then back through here. So, yeah, we, we do have a shelf here now, essentially, that's going to hit and then go around that. But um, it is what it is. Sometimes you got to just make stuff work. So, yeah, um, that was that. I thought this thing was going to be an absolute dog to weld. So I um, got the help of my brother, who's a boilermaker, and got him to weld it for me. Because uh, he's a lot better welder than I am, obviously. And... Um, yeah, I watched him do it, and there was um, bugger all junk in this. I thought being cast aluminium that there was going to be an absolute nightmare, but no, it turned out pretty nice. So with the blower housing welded, it actually sort of fixed a lot of the problem with that, but still hadn't figured out what to do with the snout. Um, if you'd watched that previous video, you'd seen that the snout on this is super duper long, and um, it basically essentially poked out further than what the crank center line was. And I had machined down the snout, um, and the problem with that was that it was limited by the diameter of the pulley size that I could put on there. And I still want to run this thing pretty quick because I like the sound and I want to pump a fair bit of boost through it. And um, it basically meant that I was stuck with like the stock super size, supercharger size pulley on there. And um, yeah, I wasn't stoked with that. So I've been doing a bit of research, talking to people, and this is what I've come up with. I've got this here. This is the snout off of a Ford Mustang Cobra um, off the M112. Um, and I had 
wondered about these over the years because these have got different length snouts between like the M90s and 112 and 122 and I thought I wonder if they're interchangeable and I've had so much conflicting information um, but I've essentially sort of come to the conclusion that you either get these in a two different snout variations so this one here is the eight bolt configuration or you'll get a nine bolt which usually have just an extra bolt in the center I can't remember if it's the top or the bottom but um so my gen 3 m90 is the nine bolt uh this is an eight bolt and it turns out that these are an eight bolt i'm pretty sure that the gt500 m122 is an it's a nine bolt i'm pretty sure um so yeah super confusing but um, I spoke to the guys at Bullet Superchargers in Australia, and um, they were cool enough to send me this dirt cheap. And um, yeah, so in the next video, I'm going to see if I can have a go at trying to swap these snouts over and see if they're interchangeable. So um, they were curious as well. They reckon that they hadn't done that. So we'll see how that goes in the coming video. So now you're all up to date with what's been going on with this North Star Supercharger thing. Um, my bad for taking so long on this thing. Um, just been struggling for motivation basically to get this thing done. Um, it's just basically being like one stuff around after another. But um, yeah, I think we're getting pretty close now, so that's pretty good. Um, looking forward to poking this thing on there and um, seeing if that fixes a few problems. And then we can go ahead with just making that manifold and then whacking this thing on. Um, yeah, so thanks for being patient and sticking through all of this. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one hopefully. Bye for now.